Hi guys, it's me Karen. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Today I'm going to do a picture over here. And this is Botanicum by Maria Trolle. And that cover just gorgeous. <laughs> Love that page. I'm going to kind of do this in um, muted colors. Um, we're going to use the um, Star Joy color pencils. So what I did was I pulled out um, what I consider muted colored tones. So we got a royal purple and light clay rose for these lupins. I believe that's what they are. I picked out two pinks, uh, locks and destiny pink for these flowers here. And uh, I guess I should pull out a color for the other one. Uh, leaves. Gosh, I really don't know. I pulled out Good Earth, which is a brown tone. Green Ochre, which is your um, muted pastel, by the way. S is a skin tone. And uh, Green Gray. Not sure, but those leaves, if we've got any... Uh, like greenish areas in here. Then I have a whole bunch of browns. Uh, we have kind of like the stems coming up. I'm going to make them kind of look like a wheat coming up here. So kind of a sepia-ish kind of coloration in browns going up. And I just pulled out, uh, let's see, not quite white maize, tawny, a mango, sepia, black and barbecue because barbecue is just a cool color. <laughs> uh, I don't know why. But uh, yeah, it's going to kind of come up in browns and then the browns are going to fade into the purples and then the browns are going to fade into the pinks and I probably should have a blue, but I think I'll just make those either pink or purple depending on what we got going on here. So we'll just start off with a light color not quite white <laughs> it seemed like a good color to me and we're just gonna put that down on the page you may not even see it because it's not quite white but it's not quite any other color it's kind of like a creamy color i have to see how these pencils work so every stem is going to get this color and this little guy here, he's a little bud. You're a little bud too, you can have some. These are funky little leaves. And that bow is going to get some too. Rope. It's just a base for every other color that we're going to put on. can throw some in here too. So how's everybody doing? I was busy this morning caulking my bathroom shower. We have a walk-in shower thought, oh yeah, you know, I've caulked bathrooms before, let's do it. You don't know what's involved in that. You have to take out the old caulk and you have to clean up the areas around the um, tub wall, or not tub, it's the floor, and the wall that goes up. Just gonna go around that too. I think I put it there, put some in here. And of course, anything else that has caulk on it that you want to recalk, you have to tear out. <laughs> so, like around the faucet area, the um, spouts, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, did a little boo-boo when I was pulling out the caulk. 
I'm going to go in with tawny now and we're just going to darken the ones that are in the back. So this one is in the very back so we're going to make sure that we have a dark color on those. Give them a little shadow back there. Then you just go from where you pick one. Now this one's in front. This one is behind this one, so a tiny little shadow there. Do it lightly, but it's not uh, under this one, so we just leave it down there. Put a little of it up here and a little here. Leave that light. And this one also is behind there, so very carefully put some color down, but not too much. This one. And then you decide. Neither one of those really looks like it's behind one, but it's going to be there. Bring some shadows down in here. Who's ever behind gets a little coloration there. Okay, anybody else? This guy is behind. He's in front. The leaf is behind. So I'm basically using this as the shadow color. And anything up here. Just double checking everything. Go back in here and put a little of this. Hope you can see all of this. Take that color up this stem up here. And it's okay if you go over some of those buds. Just make sure you get some of that color on all of them if you're going to add a little on some. It's going to be purple, but I'm going to blend it in with the brown. two pencils. We're going to bring in a little of the green here. This is the uh, green ochre. So pick the ones that are in front and bring some green into that.
guess that these buds are the same as that flower up there, so... Pull some of that green in there. Okay, I'm going to pull in some of the um, green gray. to the stems too. Okay, we can add that back in if we want. We're going to bring in a tiny bit of the um, doo -doo -doo sepia. And on the ones in the back, add a little bit more of that darker color. Darken those leaves there. Just gonna darken that up a little bit. Do this one up here. And I have to remember how many there are. <laughs> I'm not good at that. Gonna darken the inside of this. A little more on that one. Again, go down in here and darken the stem 
this and we're going to do a little bit of the rope here. That's looking pretty good to me. We're going to bring in, let's see, a little bit of the mango. For the tie. bit of maize and then we'll bring in a little of the barbecue just to add a little brightness to that Just putting a little extra pressure on it to bring out a little more brightness of that color. Okay, go back in with the mango. Bow's done. Gonna bring up the purple into these little guys. So we'll start with the clay rose. to go over all of the little guys here. I think I'll do one of these <laughs> on camera and do the rest of them off camera. Got me a lot of little guys here. going to darken good earth here. The inside of this goes all the way up. Throw a little of that color in those two.
getting them dark at the base. And then anybody who's behind the other one, get a little darker. Okay, then we're gonna bring in the purple. It's a uh, royal purple. go on one side and the base just softly using it Go up to the tip top. <laughs> Just gonna kind of go up them very gently up to the top up here, and then I'm gonna put some in really dark. So putting a lot more pressure on it. This is up to you where you want the darkness in there. bring back in the clay rose. And just go over those. Okay, then we're going to bring in a little bit of the gray green. Darken up that stem. down there somewhere <laughs> and just add a little that green going up excuse me I got to get the door okay now we're going to do um, the pink flower like I said I'll do the other two just like that one I'm gonna go in with the locks pick this one. Could have picked any of them, but I picked this one over here. <laughs> it's a really nice muted pink. What do they call this one? A muted pastel. MP. Okay, 
that around and now we're going to go in with the uh, Destiny Pink. Make sure we get it in the darkest spots and just softly put it in there. really soft looking flowers really kind of have to look it up they kind of look like poppies okay bring that down into these guys And this little guy down here. I will even throw a little in that bud here. They kind of, I don't know, they have the same kind of stem work. <laughs> so we'll put the pink in there. Okay, go back over it with the locks just to make sure a blend comes out. colors in it, so I'm going to have to add some. And like I said, add it to everybody because <laughs> you're going to forget someone's out here. And I did. Through some green. And some brown, I think. There we go. What am I throwing in here? Tawny. So all those will look like that. Um, I'm going to throw some of that color up here. Go right. Okay, these little guys here, I think I want to do in a muted blue, so I have to find um, kind of a blue that'll go with that. Okay, Bridgetine, I think, might work pretty well with that, and all I have to do is find it. <laughs> it's next to... Midnight, so whatever tray that's on, I don't like these trays. So I really need to get a pencil case. Oh, they just ugh. okay. Gotta find it. Well, those are blues, but they're not in that set. So 
to this set. Here we go. Come here. And whatever this one is. Ooh, scrape, scrape. Chalkboard scratching. Shivers up spine. Okay. <laughs> I picked out a Bridgetine. Bridget, yeah, I guess that's how you pronounce it. And a uh, Surulinus. Sur yeah, these two colors. 90 or 80. MP and a 78. So we'll go in with the light color first. Just like we did on everybody else. There are only two of these. So we might as well do them both. And then the Bridgetteen one. Shadow that one because it's underneath the other petal. And the same for this little guy over here. Didn't do a very good job here. I'm gonna throw some green there and some green gray. Where's that one? Well, I was here a minute ago. There he is. Okay. So we'll shadow that and correct that mistake. Okay, so besides this flower and these two, we're going to do these little guys down here. I'm going to bring in Tawny and we're going to darken this area here on all of these. Let's go to this flower up here. <laughs> okay, then we'll bring in Good Earth, just because it's a pretty sounding name and we want these kind of a browner color. So we're shadowing up 
the ones that are underneath and just down here at the base, bringing it up one side. bring one of these colors down in here. We want a variated um, color range of stems. So there we go. We'll bring in the green Ooh, gray green. <laughs> Just add the green element into that. on the other side. Going to take that and darken all the stems that are around any other item. These are behind these leaves, so we're just going to darken them. That goes for all of them that are in here, too. Just bring that color down or up, depending on which way you're going. It's also going to be a shadow underneath the bow. Bring that color down that way. Okay, under every flower petal too. Don't want to forget that. Throw that in there. Okay, so yeah, that'll be it. I'm going to do these other three little flowers off camera, but that's all the color we're going to be putting on there. If you want any more lightness in there, you can just go around with the lightest uh, one we have. The one we started with, not quite white. make sure everybody's blended. I'm going to put just a tiny darkness in there. We're going to go with barbecue. Just inside. We'll do that on everybody here that has a inside. <laughs> I'm on them, not all of them do. Yeah. Do the purple for everybody over here and purple for everybody over on this side. Just going to 
quickly put on some color on them. We didn't put brown in these. We need to put brown in first. Mm -hmm. Which one did I use? I'm pretty sure it was the um, sepia. So we're going to do that. You ever have to watch one of your videos back when you say you're going to do something off camera just to figure out what colors you put down? <laughs> I do not plan any of this out, so... I end up having to do that. I do leave a lot of pencils on my desk when I'm coloring, so at least I know which ones to put in the description box so you guys all know what you're... or what I'm using. Put down that stem with that color too. Oops, got that little piece of brown I'll have to. Erase that. Okay, then the purple. And then back in with the other clay rose, light clay rose. Might have to add a little more dark purple in here. Yep, I guess I can do the last couple of flowers. <laughs> I want to finish it. I don't know how long this video is, but if you don't mind, I will just go ahead. At least get this purple one done.
Okay, pink flower. I might as well do it, right? It's the last one. Go in with the Lux. The Lux. Lux. What if that's after the salmon? Destiny pink. some of that down into the stem down here too and up in here thing I want to do is add just a little more shadowing in the um, flowers there. So we're going to put some tawny in it. So down at the tip and up on the top and then the little curls there. Okay, <laughs> there we are. I'm sorry, I was just fiddling around with it. Probably was out of focus or not even on camera. Just adding a little bit of that tawny around on everything. So I'll take a picture at the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments section below and I'll get to them as soon as I can. Hope you enjoy your day. Take care, everyone. Bye now. <laughs>